Outer space themed rides were some of the earliest and most popular attractions at Coney Island. Beginning in 1902 with Thompson and Dundee's trip to the moon at Steeplechase Park and George Melies' silent film of the same year. During the 1950s, space travel became a reality that spawned a million fantasies. In 1959, an Atlas rocket was put on display in the parking lot at Coney Island's aquarium. The Atlas would soon launch the first Americans into space. Crowds of schoolchildren viewed the rocket and dreamed of becoming astronauts. During the 1960s, the space race captured the imagination of the world as President Kennedy made his bold promise to put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. Astroland Park embraced the excitement, opening in 1962 with an outer space theme. The first ride at the new park was the Star Flyer, a space ride simulator that soon became known as the Astroland Moon Rocket. 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Roger, we got a roll from Tower clear. Roger, roll. By 1969, the space race was over and men had walked on the moon. Later that year, the Astroland rocket was retired as a ride and lifted to the roof of Gregory and Paul's restaurant on the boardwalk to begin a new life as a lofty landmark for generations of Coney Island visitors. When Astroland Park closed in 2008, the rocket was lifted from the roof and returned to Earth. The Albert family offered to donate the rocket to an educational institution and fielded numerous offers from aerospace museums across the country. The city of New York asked for the rocket and promised to relocate it to Coney Island's new amusement and entertainment district, calling the rocket a symbol of adventure, discovery, and fun. In 2013, we discovered the rocket in a vacant lot next to an abandoned building on a storm-damaged waterfront in Staten Island. It had been battered by waves and severely damaged during Hurricane Sandy, but it had survived. We approached the city and asked that the rocket be secured and returned to Coney Island, but were told that they had no place to put it. Steve and Stacy Vidaris, co-owners of Wonder Wheel Park, offered to restore the rocket and give it a new home below the Wonder Wheel. Now that we had a site, the city agreed to put out an RFP to bring the rocket back. We answered the RFP and made a site visit in the fall of 2013. It would take nine months to get our proposal approved and ownership transferred. The rocket's return became official on June 3, 2014, when we took possession and began the complicated process of moving it back to Coney Island. Right. Hopefully this will be the final uh, destination oh, for the rocket. Fabulous. We'll find out. And then I'm sure you can figure out how to make it take off, do a slight loop. <laughs> if, I can bring, if I can get that thing to take off, I'll make sure I put luggage in there. <laughs> right. I'll be on Hi, it. how you doing? Hi. Oh, it's so good oh, to see good you. To see you too. What do you think? Well, get all this out. As long as it's not going to take away from something else that's making money for you, you know. No. But I told Charlie, I just told Steve if he could make it so it takes off, does a little loop, it's a little back. Loop. As soon as we got it, we put it in inside. That's where I thought it was. That was inside. Time. And then about, probably about two years ago, I could check the, the books, we moved it out here. Really? Yeah. Did they say why? Uh, I don't recall. 
I don't recall, but it was taken right. up. I guess Steve, it was, I guess because it was taken up some Bennett, space. This is Steve uh, All right, how are you? How you doing? He's Bennett. not plating, actually moving it. He's at the Wonder Wheel. Okay. Okay. No. I have to walk around. Uh, oh, is, is that a lock? Out? Yeah. <laughs> Anything of value has already been stolen. Huh? Not that big. <laughs> I love Steve's attitude. <laughs> Don't forget, it doesn't, it? it doesn't look like it has uh, a nose cone. Uh, right next to it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't I think it's about 10,000, 12,000 pounds. What a shame, huh? Yeah. So five, six tons. She was in good shape. I have the video of us bringing it out here. Yeah, it was in good she, shape. She was in good shape. She was stored inside. I was wondering if they have any insurance, which I asked Nate about. The city usually has insurance. I would assume. Let me get a picture of you with this there. I can get in. Here, we're gonna fix for you. No, I there's a there's a door up there. Yeah, one of these is the door, but the door might be on the other side. Oh, together to point. restore it properly. So you have to. You yeah. know, we'll consult with one another. Well, and it's gonna be your rock. Nice <laughs> and do it right. Yeah. And can I know see we'll it. It'll be like right here together. somewhere before they go in. Well, it doesn't have to be some big thing, but uh, you know, it just, um, with the salt and everything, it's amazing. Where's Gary? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is not heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, this, this is not heavy. going in again. How'd you get in? It's, it's a hole. Charlie, you can get in.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, Steve. Piece of cake. You got room to spare here. <laughs> nice. Plate. You sure you don't want to leave it right on the yeah, front plate? Yeah, it's going to settle right on the front plate. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Charlie, your spaceship has landed. <laughs> it's been Thank an adventure. Thanks. Thank you for all your help. Absolutely. Gary, thanks again. No, my pleasure. Thank you. Good luck with it. Enjoy it. Thanks for everything. And let everybody else enjoy it. Yeah, we will. That's a big thing. See Thank you, you and good night. Yesterday, you came in, we were in the shop, and you said, I just came, I just saw the rocket, it's in Staten Island, you were very upset about it, and I said, no problem, let's bring it here. Steve said, let's bring it here, we'll restore it, we'll bring it here, and I can't believe it. Though it's taken a few months, it's here. Dying alone 